Hello everybody and welcome back to the FM24 Youth Academy Challenge with CD Toledo and it's youth intake day, it's the best day of the season in this save and unfortunately our early season form has dropped off a little bit but we're all the way into April and we're still doing well. Let's take a look. Yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the save. And as we can see, looking at the league table, we are in fourth. 31 games played, 60 points, four points clear of the team in fifth place. Nine points off third place Atletico Madrid and a whopping 17 points off Real Madrid and Barcelona. And it's not really that we've been playing badly, it's just that they are incredible. I mean, we've picked up a couple of losses that we probably shouldn't have lost. Mallorca, obviously we lost to Sevilla again. Uh, we lost to Monaco in the Europa League knockouts 4-0. And then in the second leg, beat them 4-1. Um, yeah, a bit annoying. We did draw with Barcelona, lost to Athletic Bilbao. Um, but yeah, we're not losing that many games, to be honest. It's, it's just annoying that Real Madrid and Barcelona are as good as they are. They're seriously going to take some toppling in this but you can see so we've lost nine games all season they've only lost four and two respectively uh real madrid only drawing two and barcelona drawing five so that's where we need to improve just maybe changing those losses to draws and then the draws to wins and one one season i'm pretty sure it's all just going to click and we're going to be closer to those two at the top of the league i mean being fourth is great four points clear of fifth is nice as well played the equal amount of games but nine points off third that's the gap i think we can close uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on that but it's that la liga is definitively the second best league in europe behind the premier league and it's edging closer to it every season uh, we are in a good position where this save is as well yes we haven't got through in the europa league but we are in a good position for the league and we still don't care about the Copa del Rey knocked out in the second round by Mercia that's not our that's not what we need to worry about it's the league and the Champions League is all we need to worry about so uh, yeah not too bad but today what we need to worry about is the youth intake and here it is it's a wonderfully talented group of players that could be a golden generation uh, led by David Ortiz it is an excellent intake there's lots of good players David Ortiz is a left midfielder or a left winger from Spain uh, we have Sergio Requena up there as a holding midfielder, Spanish as well, and Pedro as a very versatile striker, right wing, right everything, attacking midfield in there as well for Pedro. I, have we got any? No, all Spanish. It's an all Spanish intake. Um, and we actually have another Pedro in the decent talents. I've got any standout names? Pablo Pinedo is a name that like jumped out to me there. Jesus, Marcos. Yeah, okay, so not... Not too bad. Juan Carlos Pombo is a great name. I hope he makes it. Um, in terms of the decent talents then, attack midfield right, Mateus Morales is here. Very good physicals. Acceleration, pace, fitness, and agility all looking good for a right winger. Uh, work great off the ball, flair, teamwork. That's good as well. Aggression means he'll press high up the pitch and win the ball back. Crossing, dribbling, and first touch could all be a little bit better, but technique is good. He's not dreadful, to be honest. He's not dreadful. Low determination, though. That's a little bit annoying, determination for. Um, but, yeah, not too bad for the first one off the books. Mateus Morales. Cesar Colette, attacking midfield right. Half a star current ability, two star potential. Really lacking physically. Probably not going to make it. He is a fairly professional young winger, so he probably will train well. But dribbling's low. Crossing's good. First touch is good. Technique is good. Flair is good, composure is good, determination is good, vision is decent. Just those physicals. Kind of two-footed as well, which is good to see. But uh, low natural fitness and is injury prone. That's a little bit of a concern, those two mixed together. As usual, we're going to fly through the decent talents and then focus a bit more on the better talents. Jorge, Jorge Martin, uh, one star current ability, two star potential right back. He is uh, determined. He's a determined young fullback, which is good. And first touch is great. Tackling is good. Technique is good. Anticipation is good. Bravery is good. Decisions is good. Determination, 19. That's really good. Work rate, 12. Lots of stamina, pace, fitness, and balance. Yeah, he's looking pretty good. Uh, very good personality. His strongest aptitude is to make the right decision on the pitch. Lots of room to grow. Consistent. Um, he's committed. He gives all of his cause. Needs to work on his strength, not quite at the right level, and not versatile. And his weakness is to be an aerial presence in the game. Uh, yeah, not too worried about that. I mean, jumping reach 9 isn't dreadful. But yeah, okay, crossing needs to improve, dribbling needs to improve. But again, not, not dreadful for someone that's apparently a two-star player. 
really not that dreadful at all. Um, Pedro, the rubbish Pedro, we're going to call him. The weaker Pedro. Half-star current ability, one-and-a-half star potential. I'm expecting him to be pretty rubbish. Attacking midfield, left striker or AMR, a balanced personality young winger. He has pace, natural fitness, agility, acceleration, uh, aggression, determination, flair, technique. Dribbling is decent. Crossing is okay. It's not awful, but uh, needs to improve on his long shots. He doesn't have the game intelligence. He's inconsistent. Lots of room to grow. Balance the normal personality. A fair amount of pace. His acceleration and his sprints are good. Um, versatile. Yeah, not bad. Not bad, I think. Yeah, not not too sure about that one, to be honest. Um, Alex Pereira is a goalkeeper. Half a star current ability, two star potential. Uh, 15 years old, six foot. He's a agile he's got good decision making good determination good handling good reflexes likes to punch the ball good aerial reach as well that's decent um but yeah other than that it's a bit meh but in the cons he has only got not at the right level and poor consistency so it's not saying there's too many negatives around him lots of room to grow balance the normal personality ability to safely secure the ball with his hands in the pressure situations which is very good as well yeah we'll keep an eye on him a balanced personality young goalkeeper not too much more to say really about Alex Paredes but now we get into the good the top and the elite so in good Juan Carlos Pombo at left back one star current ability two and a half star potential uh, he is a fairly sporting young fullback fairly sporting young fullback but also has a competitive streak okay uh, stamina 13, acceleration 11, agility 10, pace 6. That's really slow. Uh, bravery 17, and then the rest is sort of 10s. To make it at this level, I sort of feel like you have to have something around 11, 12, 13 in technical, mental, and physical. Uh, you can argue he's not too far off tackling-wise, but crossing 9, dribbling 4, first touch 8, technique 8, passing 6. It's a bit meh. It's a bit meh. But the coach's summary, he's brave. Uh, lots of room to grow, decent personality, uh, committed player that gives all, and he's, a, he's got some versatility in him because he can play left wing back as well as left back and a little bit of right back. So, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I don't think Juan Carlos Pombo is really going to make it. Uh, Marcos Jimenez at centre-back, half a star current ability, two and a half star potential. Uh, six foot, natural fitness, 13, jumping reach, eight, acceleration, 11, uh, pace 9, decisions 13, bravery 12, leadership 13, marking 11, uh, yeah, tackling 9, positioning 9, it, uh, get heading 4, again, it needs a lot of, lot of improvement. Uh, cons though, so poor work ethic, oh yes, he's got work rate 3 and teamwork 4, that doesn't, unambitious, uh, not an effective aerial presence, competitive streak, not at the right level, and inconsistent. Lots of room to grow. A fair amount of pace. I mean, he's got pace nine. I don't agree with that. Um, ability to make the right decision on the pitch and versatile. So, it's a bit meh. It's a bit meh for Marcos Jimenez. Not too sharp on Marcos Jimenez. Pablo Pinado. Uh, half a star currency. Three star potential midfield centre. Uh, he is a an ambitious young midfielder. Uh, technique 13. Work rate 11. Flair 12. Determination 13. Decisions 14. Aggression 12. Physicals are really lacking. Natural fitness is the best at 10. Again, it's just not ugh, It's not the best, is it? Uh, poor personality, not ambitious. Um, lacking severely, severely lacking consistency. Uh, his crossing is crap. He's a centre midfielder, so it's not too bad. And uh, his lack of strength and fitness means he should be in the gym. Uh, lots of room to grow. A fairly intelligent player can make the right decision and versatile as well. But I think, I don't know, Pablo Pinedo... Not great. There's been a few comments in the uh, in the comment section, obviously. Let me know down below. Get your comments in there as well. Who's your favourite player that we see in the Youth Academy today? Let me know. But there has been a few comments to say, I think we need to upgrade Andrew Burgess to a new head of youth development because personalities coming through aren't great and we've got the facilities, we've got the finances now. It could rely more on a bit more of personality. So maybe we'll go and have a look after going through all these players. Next up, Juan Carlos. Attack and field right, centre or left. He is a casual personality, uh, not not dreadful, uh, but crossing, dribbling is pretty poor. First touch, 11, technique, 13, passing, 4, that is really crap. Bravery, 13, flair, 13, teamwork, 15, work rate, 12, but off the ball, 3 for an attacking position, that's dreadful. Uh, pace, 10, balance, 10, acceleration, agility, 8 and 9, fitness, 13, not 
it's not too bad. Positively works well within a team, lots of room to grow, a committed player and versatile, but negatively laid back casual person who oozes uh, calmness, lots of work to do, head in, very inconsistent, and currently lacks game intelligence. So it's probably a no for Juan Carlos, to be honest. Uh, Javier, half a star current ability, two and a half star potential. Uh, Javier is a central midfielder who is also casual. Uh, we are works well within a team, lots of room to grow, very consistent, uh, a committed player, versatile, but laid back, very injury prone, can't head the ball, uh, needs to do better when it comes to the market and has a competitive streak. So first touch 14, technique 14, teamwork 15, decisions 14, bravery 12, aggression 15, physicals are dreadful. His highest physical is 6 and that's jumping reach and fitness, everything else is below 6. He's not going to make it. I can tell you that straight away for Javier. Right, into the top talents then. Jesus at left back. One star current ability. Three and a half star potential maybe. Uh, Jesus is a left back who is balanced in terms of his personality. Uh, stamina, pace, 11. Natural fitness, 14. Balance, 14. Acceleration, 13. Aggression, 11. Leadership, 11. Teamwork, 11. Technic technique, 11. But everything else is pretty lacking corner uh, crossing five dribbling four passing six we do like to play with our fullbacks as being very active on the ball work rate six positioning seven decision six anticipation eight he needs to really hit that potential to be honest that the coaches think uh, could improve a lot decent personality is balanced uh, a fair amount of pace naturally fit versatile but might essentially not to get stuck into rough challenges uh, not the right level and is not an effective aerial presence. So a bit disappointing there for Jesus. Marcos, centre-back. One-star current ability, three-and-a-half-star potential. Uh, Marcos is 15 years old, unambitious young centre-back. Yeah, I want to see more professional centre-backs, uh, professional youngsters come through, to be honest. But jumping reach 12, six foot four, stamina 11, balance 13, bravery 13, decisions 13, positioning 12, work rate 13, marking 12, heading 9, tackling 10. If you improve the heading and the tackling, it's not actually dreadful. Get the concentration and composure up because he's got stamina, jumping reach, and balance, which is all great at centre-backs. Decisions, positioning, and work rate, all great at centre-back. Leadership could be a bit better. Uh, well, could be a lot better. It's one. Um, heading nine, marking 12. It's not dreadful, but he is injury prone. He needs to get to the gym. Not ambitious, so won't further himself. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, lacks strength and fitness work. But, you know, brave, lots of room to grow, a committed player. Uh, so far, I'm not enamoured. I'm not I'm not enamoured by this youth intake. And it, a lot of it probably does come to how good our squad is currently. So... Let's keep going. Lotaro Puchetta, one and a half star current ability, four and a half star potential centre back or holding midfield or central midfield. It looks like 16 years old, fairly ambitious. Um, he is good at, he's got good strength, pace, fitness, balance, agility, acceleration 10, jumping reach 8, not too bad. Um, aggression 10, bravery 16, determination 12, leadership 13, positioning 13, marking 13, tackling 12, technique 12. Get that heading up and he's a good centre back. Get the heading and the jumping reach up and he's a decent centre back. Even maybe a destructive sort of holding midfielder in there as well. Passing is lacking a little bit. Teamwork and work rate isn't great. But I do think we can. Uh, there's something to work with there, which is good. Uh, plenty of room to develop his anticipation skills. Uh, not at the right level, fairly inconsistent and needs to be taught to be an effective aerial presence. Um, bravery is good. He's got lots of room to grow. Uh, ambitious. Um, strength and stamina make him a decent athlete, and he's versatile as well. So not bad. Not bad for uh, Lotaro Puchetta. But now into the elite talents. One and a half star current ability, four and a half star potential for Pedro at striker. But very versatile, as we said. Striker, attacker mid, right wing, or midfield right. He is physically looking pretty decent. Strength is poor at four. But stamina, eight. Pace, 11. Fitness, 11. Jumping reach, eight. Balance, 14. Agility, 11. Acceleration, 10. Aggression, 12. Decision, 14. Flair, 13. Vision, 11. Work rate, 13. Teamwork, 10. Technique, 14. Passing, 11. Heading, 14. Free kick taking, 12. And finishing, eight. Finishing, eight. Composure, nine. Doesn't scream striker for me. Um, pay, passing, technique, vision, work rate, flair, and decisions are all really good. So I think you are more suited to be a playmaker. 
I mean, let's be honest, you're more suited to be a playmaker, not a striker. Um, yeah, not bad. Temperamental, though. Temperamental is 15 years old. Uh, lots of room to grow. He's good in the air. Is he good in the air? He's got jumping reach 8. Uh, heading is his strongest attribute, though. Yeah, 14. Also good at attacking midfield for flick-ons. Can play a couple of positions, but fairly volatile and temperamental. Uh, physical strength is weak, not at the right level, and needs to get to the gym. I mean, it's not... This could be Andrew Burgess. This could be this could be your parting. Your I mean, you'll take over the next set of youth development. But as it stands, this person, this could be the last intake. You need two players here to basically save your job. Uh, Sergio Requina, holding midfield, one and a half star current ability, four and a half star potential. A fairly ambitious 15-year-old. Uh, stamina and pace is good, 13 and 11, agility 10. Physicals generally aren't that bad, actually. Balance 5 and strength 7, not too bad. Very aggressive with 20 and bravery 18. He's going to throw himself into tackles. Determination 12, positioning 10, work rate 12. Technique 13, tackling 14, passing 11, marking 8, free kick taking 11. I mean, with that aggression, that bravery and your ability to tackle, that probably would be a decent attempt at winning the ball, so just Sergio. But, um, yeah, lots of room to grow, and you're gonna he's going to have to grow. Uh, he's very brave, lots of room to grow, decent personality, uh, committed player, very versatile, but can't head the ball, not at the right level, inconsistent, and uh, yeah, needs to get down the gym. And he has a competitive streak as well. I mean, it's not been, it's not been the greatest intake. When they say golden generation, I think they're bullshitting. Uh, midfield left, the talented player. Um, led he leads these groups. This group, David Ortiz, one and a half star current ability, four and a half star potential. David Ortiz, again, it's a bit meh, isn't it? A balanced personality, 15 years old. Stamina, pace, fitness, agility, acceleration. They're all good. Get the balance up and you can dribble really well. Uh, aggression, 10. Bravery, 10. Determination, 12. Off the ball, 10. Work rate, 13. Technique, 14. Crossing and dribbling, 11 and 12. So maybe at first sight it looks bad, but I guess he does have pace, acceleration, determination, work rate, technique, crossing and dribbling. So he is going to be a pretty decent winger to be honest um he is naturally fit he's got lots of room to grow a decent personality uh, a lot of pace of versatile as well but his finishing and long shots is awful he's very inconsistent uh he is needs to do a very better job of marking not too sure about that uh, he's got a competitive streak and he's not quite at the right level i don't know i think that whole intake is a bit rubbish and we don't normally get rubbish intakes that's a bit underwhelming isn't it that is a bit underwhelming to be honest. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go into our staff search and we're going to go and see if we can find a new head of youth development. There was me looking for a set piece coach, by the way. Um, is there anyone? I mean, there is some people now very good that we can get in a set piece coaches. So while we're here, uh, Eric Carrillo, contract, approach to sign, uh, set piece coach will just give you a massive wage in case they try and counter. Five year deal, we can pay the compensation. There we go. Right. So you've just seen a sign. In, hopefully, get a new head of youth development, uh, a new set piece coach as well. So recruitment team. No, is it coaching? Yeah. Head of youth development. Bin that off. Let's go through here. Let's get uh, not preferred job. Personality. Who is at the top? A perfectionist. Nacho Ferry doesn't have the greatest um, well attributes either. Actually, he doesn't have the greatest attributes or star rating, which is a little bit annoying. Um. Do I care about attributes? We're judging all the players ourselves, so we don't really need to worry. Is there anyone out there? Got, I mean, Resol Resolute isn't too bad, and three-star, which means they have a bit more pull. Do we give Sergio Pachon a go? It'll be good. Resolute is good. Resolute is a good personality to have. Resolute is a good person to have. It's better than Balanced. Let's knock all these down to 14 and see if we get anyone that's like professional. Fairly determined. We get another resolute. I mean, this guy's from Wissam Ben Yedder. Yeah, we'll get Wissam Ben Yedder in. Who else wants him? Almeria want him. Let's try Wissam Ben Yedder. Uh, head of youth development. You can get a massive wage. We're going to give you five years. So we're actually going to judge him on his fifth year. So we're 2039 next season will be 2039 2040 so at 2045 if he joins us that's when we're actually going to be judging to say whether it's been a success or not because th there's a couple that will still be in the system that were done by um well our old head of youth development 
But uh, yeah, so there we go. We're going for Wissam Ben Yedder. If we don't get him, then we'll go for Sergio Pacon, um, who's got a fantastic beard and hair. So we'll go with that. Yeah, fair, I mean, Determined would be not too bad as well. Um, we're also, I think, with Wissam Ben Yedder, 16-16 is going to give us a, a better... I mean, he does play the shitty system, a shitty system. But um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But it is going to bring an end... It's going to bring an end to Andrew Burgess. And this guy has been here forever, I think. Like, forever. Yeah. Signed in 2024. I mean, what a career. You've come with us since the days of, what, La Federation Group B, I think is where we started. Wow. You've boosted your reputation with it as well. You've got a rating of... Um, an impressive rating. You'll pick up another job. But yeah, Andrew Burgess, we say goodbye as head of youth development. Oh, now I'm questioning the decision. He's done all right. No, I think we have to. I think we have to. I think we have to. Andrew Burgess, his balanced personality, I think he's letting a, a bit of leeway either side. And we're getting a few more negative ones. So I guess we wait and see. I'm just trying to see. Um, have a willingness to work in the lower leagues. Use player marking. Tends not to hold a high defensive line, force opposition to play inside, or use counter-pressing. Okay, so you haven't adopted too much of how we've been playing in real life. But, yeah, I think it's time. I think it's time to change. The fact that we've had the same head of youth development and we've brought through as many good players as we've had, I think, is absolutely incredible. Yeah, it's time. The decision has been made. We've put a bid in. Uh, Andrew, we will find you another job in the staff. Um, whilst we've got Ben Yedder, who is obviously a real person. We'll make you. Uh, we'll give you something else to do in the in the setup. Maybe I know Paul Marty's a real player, but maybe you can become our assistant manager, um, and we'll say well, you've been upgraded from assistant from head of youth development to assistant manager because of the good job that you have been doing. I've just realised we have loads of coaching spaces left without them actually telling me. So even though we've basically got all the best coaches in the league, we're going to go and improve that and get some more coaches in as well but let me know what you think about the youth intake as i said we are currently fourth in la liga hopefully gonna nail down that champions league spot again and progress in the champions league next season just need a little bit more ability to keep clean sheets and finish better and we'll be challenging the league and for the champions league before we know it thank you so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one leave your comments down below go and follow me on twitch if you want to over there as well and uh yeah catch you all soon cheers